So the first thing that we would like to ask is, what is a God? Actually, I'd like to ask you that question. What is a God? Let me give you an example. Right? If I bought with me today a goldfish, yeah? I have a little thing, and I bring with me a goldfish, and I say, everybody, um, this is Jonah, my son. So it's a, it's a goldfish. Well, it's, it's my son. He eats with me at the table. The, uh, the, he has a bedroom in the house. And according to the new adoption laws that they've just passed in England, very liberal, he, he, the, the papers are coming through next week. He's my son. Now, you, you would say, look, that's a fish. You're a human being. You can't have a fish as your son. Because the fish is not like you. But let me ask another question then. How is a human being like God? You go to the shop. Excuse me, I'd like that idol over there. Okay, he brings the idol down. And this idol can't, you might think it might fly down itself, right? No, he, he brings it down. And he pays money for the idol. He actually pays money to get the idol. And then he carries it home. Not the, the idol doesn't carry him. So that's it. Now I'm your God. I'll carry you home. No. He carries the idol home and he puts it up on the shelf. You know. And if it fell down again, he'd have to put it up again. Right? And then he says, oh, such and such. Help me. Give me this. Give me that. Does that make any sense? At the end of the day, the Quran appeals to something that is common to humanity. And what is common to humanity? Actually, something we call common sense.